I feel a rant coming on, and Ivy is out of town. She can't stop me. Because it was a day of the week in the world, in, in human existence, there was, of course, 10 people who decided to write reviews about schools and probably thousands of people writing reviews about other things that they know nothing about, that they've never gone to, that they've never even seen the curriculum, they've it's just across the board they all they did was read a little bit of stuff on the website and decide that they had the technical no this technical skill and the knowledge and the uh, experience and whatever some innate understanding of what something they've never been a part of or seen uh, is and that they can rate it and they can give it a rating and so of course even I get sucked into a little bit of drama sometimes and I wrote back, great, maybe you could review Harvard so I don't have to go there to find out if it's good or not, right? Uh, maybe you should go review RISD because I'd love to know if it's a good school. And of course, because it is a day of the week, someone immediately retorted, oh, hey, w don't you run a boot camp? Way to troll the competition. First of all, there is no competition. These schools have tens or hundreds of millions of dollars and thousands of sales funnel employees and a, a giant pyramid scheme, not the real kind of pyramid scheme like ours. There is no comparison. For example, we really only have 40 slots for the whole entire rest of this year. So we are not trying to compete. It would actually be horrible if all of those people wanted to go to our school. Do you really think that Cody and I have the resources or even the desire to compete with these companies. But that's not my point. My point is, why does the internet want to stick up for all of these companies? Why do they want to say, hey, who do you think you are talking about these companies like that? Well, I know who I am. My name's Derek Wood, and I'm not a f It's time for me to tell you that all of these schools, all the boot camps are lying to you. They're totally lying, straight faced, across the board, right in plain sight and you know most schools have done that throughout history so it's not new but just let's take a look at a few of these things the funniest one is that every single boot camp got the best boot camp award <laughs> for every year and even last year i found a lot of boot camps that had the best coding boot camp award for 2021 which had not even happened yet here's one a clean sweep in all categories best coding boot camp Best data science bootcamp, best blah, 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 best online bootcamp. There's been no in-person bootcamps. Of course it's online. We're in a pandemic. Oh, here's another school. It's got the same best coding bootcamp, best data science bootcamp. Oh, it's got a little best ISA bootcamp, as if they don't all offer an ISA. There's a bunch of companies who review and give ratings to these different schools. Here's one. Look, this company got five point zero out of five that's all the five every single thing perfect 100 percent the most perfect it could be it's like donald trump went in here and he rated them five out of five five out of five five out of five five out of five oh let's look at the full list let's look at all these down here oh 4.9 out of five 4.92 out of five five out of five five out of five five out of five they're all the same they're all the best if you think that's possible then great, just go to one. Just pick a one at random. It doesn't matter, they're all the best. All of the schools are equally, exactly the same. All you have to do is go to them and then you automatically become job worthy. Oh, here's another one. Best coding bootcamp, 2021. Best online bootcamp, best online bootcamp. All of them are the best online bootcamps. It's amazing. I'm the jerk, right? <laughs> Who knew? They're all the best and I'm just being a hater. And then you have the students. They've never gone to another boot camp. How can they compare? How could they possibly know that the boot camp they went to is the best? This person says, one of the best boot camps I've ever been a part of. How many did he go to? How many boot camps did this person go to? Are, <laughs> what do they know about education? Of course they're gonna say their boot camp is the best. They got to meet a bunch of new friends. They got to try something new. They, you know, they, they want to have that alumni feel of, I don't know, whatever that is. Nobody likes buyer's remorse. But if, the, 
if there really were hundreds and hundreds of thousands of trained up developers who were great at their job and and and, and all that stuff uh, appearing in the industry, we would know. I'd be able to pay my credit card bill without the website breaking. I'd be able to log into my bank account. Half the websites I went to <laughs> wouldn't be completely unusable and broken. Speaking of unusable and broken, these coding boot camps can't even make a website for themselves. If you run a lighthouse score on them, and of course you do it in incognito mode and you give them the best chance that they can get, you still get red, 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 red. You know, you'll notice they all have a pretty high SEO. They have definitely focused on that. 100 SEO, 26 performance. 15 performance. This is a school that's going to teach you how to build websites and they don't know how to build one themselves. You'd think that since they just trained up 5,000 graduates, they could hire one of them as an intern to make them a website that wasn't trash. And I'm not saying that it, you really have to go for 100, 100, 100. You have to set a performance budget. You have to be realistic. Right now, I mean, I pretty much gutted this page out just to so I could make this point to you. Uh, but we, even we're not 100%, 100 out of 100. It, it's just unreasonable. It's it's not something you should be looking to do. But I, I, you shouldn't be going for 18 or 15. You know what else would be great? If somebody could use your website, if they you know used assistive technology or for whatever reasons, if you're gonna be teaching people how to build websites, you should be able to create a website that is accessible. I don't have all day to talk about this. It just goes so deep. They spend so much money on the actual sales funnel and they don't even update the courses. I know I've tutored people from every single one of these boot camps. They're so outdated. <laughs> uh, uh, if they don't talk you into going to the school, they, they are constantly collecting your data and selling that too. It's just so obvious. I could just go on and on for hours. I mean, look at all the photos. All you write is black people in tech. And then you look what you find. This is what you get. You go and you just put black people all over everything. <laughs> it's it's ridiculous. They're, these aren't real people. These aren't people who've gone to the school. They're, they're stock images. This model here, listening to her headphones, when she's not playing her classical guitar, she somehow learns programming on her iPad in a dark room. Why would she do that? These people aren't even inventive about pretending they know how to design something. You might think, but UCLA, UCLA is a worldwide uh, respected school, right? I'm gonna go to the coding boot camp at UCLA. Just scroll down to the bottom here. It says right there, it's Trilogy. It's Trilogy Educational Services. It's just white labeled. They have this whole deal where Trilogy makes this school and then the UCLA gives them an, a room in the school and then they train people up enough to be so confused that they'll go to UCLA hopefully. But you're not gonna get into UCLA. Almost any state school or any college that says they have a coding boot camp is just Trilogy underneath it. Have you ever heard of it? Why not? If it's such a great school, why aren't people shouting to the rooftops about it? All the schools are also owned by other companies now. They've all been, they've all changed hands in the last 10 years. Hack Reactor used to be an amazing school. You went to school, you hung out with a bunch of people and you went upstairs to, you know, upstairs to the tech companies up there and you said, hey, I just learned Rails. Can I have a job? And they gave you a job. It's not like that anymore. Dev Mountain is owned by some Strayer company. Thinkful is owned by Chegg, that company that rips everybody off for the textbooks. Coding Dojo says you can become a developer in 14 weeks. If that's not a lie, I don't know what is. That's, li that's a total blatant lie. It says it right there on the webpage. They're lying. That's not true. That can't happen. It took me years. Hack Reactor got bought by Galvanize. I can't even name all the schools. It doesn't even matter. There's no point in even naming and shaming. All of these schools have been bought by another company, streamlined, meaning firing all the mentors, simplifying everything, and removing all the parts that made a boot camp something worth talking about. You can squeeze the information out of a school like this. You can go to a school like this, you can get a great career. You can meet some amazing people. You can have a great time, but it's just like any school. It's just like any community college. It's just like anything. 
it depends who the people are, depends who your mentor is or whoever the person they assign you is. Do they know what they're talking about? Are you in the right place mentally to go through this program? Is the curriculum any good? Computer science schools are just as bad. They're super behind the times. I have a whole, I have a, the books that they teach with. I did a review on it. It's a bunch of nonsense. The point here isn't to say boot camps are bad or this boot camp is bad or that boot camp's are bad or hey, this crazy uh, free coding thing is really just a super high pressure sales funnel. It's to say, hey, take a minute. Are you sure that you trust these people? Are you sure that they aren't just lying to you completely across the board? All the numbers, all the people who've graduated, everything like that, just complete lies. I'm not saying they are. I'm saying you should think about it. Look at this, get a new job or your tuition guaranteed. No tuition until you get hired. Well, there's a few things they left out. What about if you waste a year of your life? You're never going to get that back ever. And you'll probably end up with a bunch of terrible uh, mental models and, uh, you know, just bad habits. The other thing is they say, get a new job or your tuition back, dot, 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 star, 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 stipulations, meaning all this crazy stuff you have to do that you aren't going to do. You're never going to get your tuition back because you're not going to cold call 20 people on LinkedIn a day. You're not going to apply for 10 jobs a day or whatever it is. Look at the fine print. It's out there. It's not, I'm not embellishing this stuff. It's real. These people are just companies, right? They're just capitalist companies and they have a marketing team and they have a, you know, the whole waterfall team and nobody thinks they're manipulating you. No one thinks they're lying. But when you put it all together, it's just a big, bold face lie and you should pay attention to it. We couldn't take all these students if we tried. I wouldn't want to. So this is not me trolling those people. It's saying, stop getting lied to. And second of all, if there are hundreds of thousands of extremely talented developers out there, why don't you just get mentored by one of them? Why don't you go on Code Mentor or go make some friends and just pay them, just pay them a couple hundred dollars a week to hang out and help you build a education plan. Think outside the box. There are so many ways to learn this stuff. Some are faster than others. Some are, you know, some are for people with full-time jobs. Some are people who have three months to dedicate. There's a ton of ways to learn this stuff. Take the time to vet the schools. Really look at it, think about it. Really, is it the best school, five out of five? Every school is the best school. Really, I get a free job somehow, I just get a job. Google, Microsoft, whatever, Twitter, Facebook, they're all hiring people, they're all creating programs. It's just the new version of working in an office. It's a new version of corporate America. It's a new blue collar digging a ditch. If you're gonna go to school for something, go to school to learn how to think, not how to type some stuff, or you're gonna put yourself in a position where you're easily replaceable. Start thinking now. <laughs>